At this time, I would like to have Lyle Hanna, president of Hanna Resource Group, to come to the podium to present the Leadership Lexington Youth Distinguished Leader Award. And as you're coming up, Lyle, I appreciate your leadership to the Commonwealth and to Commerce Lexington. Thank you for all you do for us. You bet. Thank, Thank you, Bob. What a pleasure to be here. What an outstanding group and a great dinner. So the Hanna Resource Group uh, helps organizations with HR, and we uh, are do that every day. We run HR for companies, have a great time doing it. Um, but one of the things we're aware of is how hard it is to get great people right now and how much uh, in need we are of, of more people and better people. Um, we started the Best Place to Work program years ago in Kentucky, and you're getting ready to hear about something brand new. It's called Bridging the Talent Gap. And Bridging the Talent Gap is helping us all align the needs of employers with the ability of educators and trainers and so forth to get it so we've got a good match. So we're educating people so they can fit right into the workplace. You're going to hear about this a bunch. But think about this. That's exactly what we're doing with Leadership um, Lexington for youth. We're helping them, helping prepare them for a future. We're teaching them about opportunities in our communities. And boy, there's some great outstanding le young leaders in that group that we're teaching now. Um, in fact, I want to tell you about one uh, in just a second. Um, the important thing is that this winner was selected from a peer of, you know, from people in the class. And they selected this young lady because she asked outstanding questions. She did all the other leadership things, it was great to be in the class and stuff, but she was really great with questions. And they knew if they had a good speaker, they could count on her to raise, to raise a question. Now, questions are kind of the foundation of education, aren't they? That's where, where learning really starts. Now, how many of you have a question tonight? If you, have a, if you have a question, just raise your hand. Turn the lights up just a little bit back there. Just, if you have a question. Okay, how many of you had a question today sometime? Sometime today. Okay, come on, I noticed you were falling asleep earlier, so how about this week? Keep your hands up. Okay, everybody in the room, I hope you've had a question because that's what we do to learn. And well, now, well, here's a question right over here, just a second. And about Alan Stein, and yeah, okay, so, all right, just, just a moment, if you don't mind. It is, it has been said that Alan Stein actually was Robin on the Batman and Robin series, the early, the TV series, but it turns out that that is not, that's not correct. And I noticed there was a hand over here, I think it was that Stoll Keenan group, about Bill Lear. Yeah, so it, it is true that Bill Lear was uh, the Marlboro Man for three years early in his career, the Marlboro Man, you know who that is. But when his hair fell out, he, he went to law school and kind of the rest is history, just moved right along. But maybe the big question right now is, Josephine, who was sitting back in the middle now, is over here, is wondering, when is he going to say my name? So that's about time for that, I guess. So Josephine Windroff is the winner of this year's award. Let's give her a big hand and let me tell you a few things about her. <laughs> Josephine a tremendous selection for this. You know what? She moved here from Germany at age four, had to learn English. She attended SCAPA uh, and learned to play piano and the French horn. I was going to tell you, if you brought the French horn up, you could, you could do the call to the post for all of us tonight. Um, she is a, an assisting minister and a pianist at her church in town. She's a senior at Lafayette at High School, and she's in the pre-engineering program. And guess where she's going to school? Dr. Capaluto, you'll want to say hello after the program. She's going into the honors program in engineering and management. How's that? Pretty cool. So outstanding talent. Josephine, we're so honored that you would be the recipient of this award, and we're honored that you uh, participated in the Leadership Lexington Youth Program. Let's give her a big hand. 